Oh, hey, I'm not going to do the full installation video, but I'm going to do a supplement to my previous video that I will link. So let's first start off with going down to modding resources. Let's open this thing up to the browser. All right. And now what I want to do is I need to install these three different apps. So I'm going to hold down and choose open a new tab, hold down, open a new tab, hold down, open a new tab. Now I found some of these are a little bit confusing to download. So let's go to the first one first. Verify I'm human. All right. So Z Archiver. Uh, let's see now the latest version is 1.0.10. So down here in the bottom, it has older versions, Z Archiver 1.0.10. So this is the one I want. Download. Close. That's an ad. Now here is finally the link to download it. And let's see, it's starting. And it finished. Okay, let's go to Shizuku. All right, download, GitHub release. All right, and now let's get the APK. And I believe it's finished. Let me go to my downloads. Yeah, they're there. Now let's go to this one here, verify I'm human. All right, for activity launcher. Let's see. So the latest version of it is 2.0.2. So on here, older versions, 2.0.2. .2. Download, close. Let's see, where's the download link? Download APK, 2.2 megabytes. And it is downloading. All right, that's all there. Let's resume back into the app, okay. So I've just downloaded all that stuff. Let me go to uh, configuration wizard. I'm here to mod. Configure scope storage. So stop notice this. You can't allow. This is the new warning on top. Let's go to configure scope storage. Step one, two, three, four don't work anymore. So that's why they're all gone. All right. So I'm in the little window. Quest three, download. Let's install Activity Launcher. Do this one. Continue, install. Yeah, let's install Shizuki. This is the one I just downloaded today. Let's get the Z archiver. Uh, here's the one I just did today. Continue, install. Done. All right, so at least from this standpoint, it seems like everything is working. Just got to be careful about how you download those um, APKs, they can be a bit tricky there. And now since those have all been downloaded and installed, we can go into applications and then unknown sources is available here. It's not underneath all though. It doesn't show up. You need to go to applications. And then unknown sources will show up. And then from here, we can run the different apps, which should be the same as the previous video, but this is just a refresher. Thanks. Oh, and one more thing. Limited Media Server is now available for Mobile VR Station, the ported version. With it, you can stream slash download videos and images. What is it? It is a free open source media server that has a heavy focus on access control. 
and it is available as a Windows binary where you can download and run, or you can build slash run from source on Windows, Linux, and or Mac. And also I need to mention it's not very complicated. Actually, it is a little complicated, but you can build your own LMS machine on a low power Raspberry Pi 5. So you can have a very low cost, maybe about $5 a year in power cost, to have a 24 seven always available server via some form of VPN access. And I have more information about this on my GitHub page because this has been a project I've been working on for the last couple of months. And then for example, here's a image of the little server that I built that I'm currently running in my house. It has about 10 terabytes of storage. So, um, you know, if you want to know more, I have more on my GitHub page. All right. So lastly, you know, if you want to know more, you can go to the GitHub page, which is HTTPS colon slash github.com slash mgatelab slash limited media server, or scan the QR code of your phone and you'll go directly there where you'll find the source code. And you'll also find the pre-built Windows binaries. Thank you.